Kathleen Wilson flashed her vax card. She's fully vaccinated and going completely mask-free, both indoors and out, and doing it safely, according to the CDC's new guidance. It's like this is like a new rebirth for us. I'm so happy. I'm free. Not so fast. At a pro-vaccination event in East Orange featuring Governor Murphy and Essex County resident Whoopi Goldberg, the celebrity told Wilson, keep your mask on. To you around people who have all been vaccinated, put your mask on. <laughs> we're not running any popularity contests. We're, we're here to try to save as many lives as we can, keep as many people in the state healthy as we can. And so Murphy concurred only partially with the CDC's new guidance saying, yes, fully vaccinated folks can safely remove their masks outdoors, but he would not ease New Jersey's indoor mask restrictions, CDC notwithstanding. Once we get to our 70% adults, plus the kids we're now vaccinating as of yesterday, plus the folks who have already had COVID-19, sooner than later, I would guess in a matter of weeks, we'll get to the point where we can comfortably say, you know what, inside, no matter what, you're okay. But I have to say, as of this moment in time, we are not there yet. New York's still reviewing the new CDC recommendations. Connecticut will remove mask requirements next Wednesday. States can set their own rules. We do suggest that local jurisdictions look at their own vaccination rates, look at the own case rates in their area because the country is not uniform with regard to both cases and vaccine scale up and to make some of those policies locally. But for the data have now demonstrated to us that it's safe for vaccinated people to take off their masks. The caseload over the course of the last week, the lack of hospitalizations or the decrease in hospitalizations, all really forced the hand of the CDC to make this decision which I believe is the right decision. The health agency cited falling U.S. COVID caseloads and rising rates of highly effective vaccinations. But some health experts worried about how the public will react if no masks are required. What we're essentially saying is just take your mask off everybody. Right? If, we, if we can't require people to prove that they're vaccinated, to go into businesses, to go into schools, et cetera, I think that that's where the governor needs to step in and determine what sort of policies are going to be in place across the state. Murphy said he'd provide more information Monday and didn't want to make clerks and business owners have to police people's vaccination cards. Also, inequity continues to plague New Jersey's strong overall vaccination rate. Close to 3.8 million are totally vaccinated, but that includes too few people of color, and many feel reluctant to give up masks. And when we look at the numbers of people of color who are coming forward to get vaccinated, we don't like what the numbers say. Well, I took a vaccination, so I'm still going to wear the mask anyway, regardless. I respect the CDC. I appreciate their guidance. I still think that particularly in communities of color uh, that have been most impacted by this virus that we need to still be cautious. But the governor's critics claim keeping the indoor mask requirement is damaging business and ignoring science. That the Murphy administration continues to follow their bizarre anti-science, slow roll, uh, uh, paralyzing restrictions is just stupid. Some folks still feel uncomfortable removing their masks even outside. Meanwhile, the debate over mask rules indoors in New Jersey will doubtless intensify. In East Orange, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.